723. It's a phony, all right, and it's choking the frequency up here. Acknowledge 723. We have a fix on the location of the train. This afternoon, troopers say several 911 calls came in saying a strange man was harassing people in the middle of northbound lanes of I-5 near the 320th exit in Federal Way. And at one point was exposing himself, had had his pants off, and he was running around uh, taking what was left of his belt off and slamming it against uh, passerbys, cars that were driving by. According to authorities, 911 callers say for 15 minutes the man was endangering drivers. We've still received several 911 calls of the subject actually beating against cars driving by at about 60 plus miles an hour on the freeway with his belt. Uh, another call said that they saw the subject might have a gun or some type of a weapon with him. A trooper arrived on the scene and according to authorities, the 27-year-old man charged the trooper and tackled him. Authorities say the trooper tased the man with no effect and then fired his weapon, killing the man. And stated the subject, just without the trooper even saying anything, jumped after the trooper, jumped on top of him, and tried to strangle him. That man died at the scene. We have learned he's a 27-year-old man from Olympia. The trooper has been placed on paid administrative leave. The north and southbound lanes, at least two lanes in each direction, will be shut down for the next several hours. Reporting live in Federal Way, Kyle Moore, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Kyle, thank you. A white Christmas, not just in the mountains, but here in the city. Snow has been falling off and on for the last few hours. We have in-depth storm watch coverage with Cairo 7's meteorologist Andy Wappler in the Pinpoint Severe Weather Center. And Rick Price is covering the mountain passes for us. But let's start with the snow falling right here in Seattle. Take a look on Queen Anne Hill. The snow stuck to the cars, but not to the pavement. And we found people out enjoying a walk through the afternoon flurry. Steve White taking pictures with his cell phone, the tag still hanging from his new Christmas fleece jacket. This is awesome. Merry Christmas. This is a great, uh, this is a nice surprise for Christmas. Well, it came down fast and furious, but only for a while, just long enough to make it feel like Christmas. Looking east now, quite a bit of snow as you head into the foothills of the Cascades. Cairo 7's Rick Price is live in North Bend with the situation there. Rick? Well, Amy, North Bend isn't all that high up in elevation, and we're definitely seeing snow here. Take a look behind me. You can see it's beginning to build up on the ground. I can also tell you on the parking lot here.